Module 5, Security Equipment. This course will familiarize the student with the various types of security equipment and systems that are used in maritime security. Emphasis is placed on the operational limitations of security equipment and systems, as well as the need for routine testing, calibration, and maintenance of equipment and systems in place. Participants are not expected to acquire detailed technical or scientific knowledge concerning the theoretical underpinnings of the operation of security equipment. Rather, the objective is to ensure familiarity with the capabilities and appropriate deployment of such devices and systems. Let's consider the concept of the layered defense. As the security program designer, keep in mind the principles of security in depth. Your security program should be layered so as to provide diversity of protection and redundancy. Whenever possible, you should layer your security equipment. The first step is to perform a walkthrough of the port or the ship and establish the likely access points. Having accomplished that, you are ready to look at the security equipment or components you will need for your layered defense. Let's look at locks. After deciding which openings require locks, you must select the type of lock required for each application. High security, removable core locks made of materials resistant to the corrosive atmosphere found at most ports should be used. Remember that the use of keyed locks requires the implementation of a solid key control program. Without such a program, any physical security program is doomed to failure from the outset. Access controls. Vital points within the port or ship, such as access points in designated restricted areas, require access controls. Such controls limit who will be admitted within these areas. Modern access control systems on ships and in ports are often electronic card access type systems. While usually more expensive than locks at the outset, such card access control systems offer many benefits over keyed locks. For example, each card can be programmed with different access rights and conditions, including time and location restrictions. Daily or even hourly audit reports can be generated showing all successful and unsuccessful access attempts which are valuable information for the PFSO or SSO.